In this tutorial video, we'll be giving you an overview of the QuoteWorks data link feature. The data link feature allows you to retrieve information from your contact management software in addition to the standard contact information. The data link feature is currently available with ACT, Goldmine, Maximizer, Microsoft CRM, SalesLogix, Peachtree, and the built-in QuoteWorks contact management feature. We can use the data link feature to complete fields in the QuoteWorks quote, such as customer profile, tax rate, terms, territory information, custom fields, and more for the customer. A real-world example includes situations where you have a service rep or sales engineer associated with a customer. You can set up a data link mapping to retrieve this information into a custom field in QuoteWorks. To set up the data link feature, select the Contacts menu and then click on Set Up Contact Manager. If you haven't selected your preferred Contact Manager program yet, you can do so at this point. Once you've selected your Contact Management program, click the Data Link Setup button. The next window that appears is the Data Link Setup window. From this window, you can specify the information that you wish to send from your Contact Manager program into QuoteWorks. We refer to the pairing of these fields as Data Link Mappings. In the Data Link window, you can create, edit, and remove data link mappings. You can create as many data link mappings as you like. To create a new data link mapping, click on the New button. From the data link mapping window that appears, choose the field from your contact manager that you'd like to retrieve into a QuoteWorks field. Now these fields will vary depending on the contact manager you're using. QuoteWorks displays a generic list of fields available from your contact manager. If the field that you would like to use is not listed, simply manually type the field name in. Now many contact managers allow you to create custom fields, so if you've created custom fields in the contact manager, you'll need to type in the name of the custom field here. If you need help with creating custom fields in your contact manager, please contact your contact manager's support services. Now for this example, I'm going to choose the key 5 field from Goldmine. The direction will always read copy to QuoteWorks, and this can't be changed. At this time, we can only retrieve information from your contact manager. Now we'll choose a QuoteWorks field that we wish to retrieve the information into. For this example, I'm going to choose the Terms field. Note that the event trigger reads On Retrieve Contact and is also grayed out. This cannot be changed. Once we've created the data link mapping, click OK, and then OK once again to get back into the workbook. Now take note that the Terms field on the Sale Info tab is currently blank. For this example, we're going to be using Goldmine as our contact manager. Take note that the key 5 field value here is net 90. Now in QuoteWorks, select the Sold To Ship To tab and pull in the currently open contact by pressing the Flying Business Card icon. This will also retrieve our data link mapping into the Terms field. Now let's take a look at the Sale Info tab. You'll note that the value that's in the key 5 in Goldmine has been placed into the Terms field of the Sale Info tab. Please note that the data link information will only be retrieved when using the Sold To contact. 